That's why I went in backwards. This is the holiday camp I was telling you about earlier. This is Key West. And there goes Ian. He's got an Insta360, treated himself to that. God, they're amazing, those things. You spin around and do a 3D view, like a Google Street View. There we go, Key West. Haven Caravan site. If anyone wants to come down to Newquay and spend a, a weekend or a week, I've been there, nice little caravan site, but we came on the sort of the arse end of lockdown really where there were still restrictions, the pool wasn't open and a few things were limited but nice little site and on a lovely day you go down a steep bank there down to the beach and that beach at low tide you can get all the way around to where we just were in Newquay. There's only the three of us riding back now because the other three they got the bigger bikes they're going to head back towards Carmarthen and down the motorway. I think we're going to go now from Obviously Newquay where we've just been, we're going to head towards Aberiron, then we're going to head back through Lampeter and then Landovery, Brecon, and then head back our separate ways again then. So I had to do a little fuel stop, get the old super unleaded back in the machine and that actually took the same amount that it, well it took more than it did this morning so I must have been close to the reserve. Oh, stretch those legs. We have officially just come into Aberiron. Yeah, we kind of bypassed it. I mean, Aberoi went down to the coast, it's back behind us now. Well, it's just a slightly different route to earlier, not a huge amount of difference actually. A nice smooth ride home. Seems to be a bit less traffic on the way back. Well, so far anyway. In this video, you'll notice I haven't done as much talking. Um, as I said, I, I don't feel 100% if I'm honest. Got a bit of a coldy kind of thing. And I actually feel a bit colder on the bike today and a bit, a bit more achy and stiff if I'm honest. So I kind of toned it down on the talking today and hopefully you can just enjoy the majority of the ride. I've also got to be a bit careful because. Sam's in front, he's got that new tyre and he is flying today and I like to try and keep up with him but sometimes you just got to know your limits so he's striking a balance between enjoying the scenery having a little chat on camera 
and at the same time not crashing my bike but yeah it was a lovely little ride down there i'd like to do that on a hot day in the summer really we can go down in the air jacket take a pair of shorts go and have a little paddle in the sea when you get there but the day really was a flying visit you know somewhere that far away by the time you get there bag of chips i've got to get home we left the house at i think it was half nine this morning and i'll probably get home if i you know go with a good lick I imagine at about four o'clock, something like that. We had a stop in Brecon on the way to meet up with everyone. We stopped for some chips, but we were waiting 15 minutes probably to get the food cooked. And by the time you sit down and eat it, and you want to like a nice heavy bag of chips, you tend to sort of slow down a bit and, well, I didn't really want to get on the bike and come back home, I suppose. I think the ride down is fun. And then this time of year, what I wouldn't mind doing is getting in the passenger seat of a car and having a nice snooze, to be honest with you. But that's not an option is it so we just passed back through Lambeter this is the way we came now we're just going to pull over and wait for Ian I don't know if he's been caught up behind traffic just make sure nothing's happened to him You can see that Insta there. He's got one of those sticks for it, which, you know, some of you may or may not know. That stick is like the, uh, not a tripod, what do you call it, a mount, but the camera basically ignores it. I don't know how it works, but it will film you and just remove the stick that it's mounted on so it looks like it's floating in thin air. I think I'll stick with the GoPro for now. I'll let Ian spend some money on messing around with one of those and see how it goes. But I'm sort of happy with the GoPro for now. I got the GoPro 10 black and um, they do a good enough job I think I sort of tweak the settings and I think I've got it more or less perfect for me I'm no good at doing all the extra editing I can edit down and whatever I don't do any colour grading and all that stuff I'm not advanced enough so I just need settings that give me the best sort of raw picture quality so I can just dump it into the editing software and get on with it really what this weather ain't half changing you get in these little valleys and under a cloud it's bloody freezing you pop back out where you've got a little bit more sun and it feels like it's the summer again i've got cramp in my thigh on my hat uh, yeah in my thigh like in my groin and my thigh what's going on this is where see sam now he's in these dark bits that i can't see and he doesn't care he's like a madman Oh yeah, my leg, oh, it's going tight. I'm gonna have to stop. So often I go out on the bike and I feel like getting over tired. I want to go back and have a cup of tea. I could do with the sun back on me. I just lost my mojo a bit. I have my cold and my knees are creaking. I just had cramp in my leg. Ah, oh, I know where we are now. I think. Trimbrian Reservoir. So I've enjoyed the ride today anyway it was a nice ride down there I said in an ideal world I would like to go down there and do a trip down to well somewhere like Newquay maybe somewhere else and actually have a and b overnight you know so you can get down there have a few pints or something relax spend the rest of the day there because when you do this it's nice to go for a ride you get down there on a bike I just find it's a bit of a rush Wheelie time. 
Hey! I'm going to see if Ian's instant will catch my front wheel going in the air and then I'll realise that I've been throwing it about all of one inch in the air which is pretty much what I think I'm doing I can't wheelie for shit I really want to learn, I never get out and practice so I bought that Grom and I've used it about three times I wanted it to use as my like sort of throwing around bike and now I sort of think oh should I just get rid of the damn thing and we are off again so I missed that on camera, I was about to overtake, Ian started going so I let him pass because my bike ain't quick enough, simple as that. That GS 1200 and he stuck his, um, I was going to say put his foot down, pulled his throttle back I guess is a better term. It does go, this guy's going to screw me now isn't he, he's just going to sit there like that. Ah, I always feel like I've been cheated. The car gets in front of me and it sits like this, I feel cheated. I don't want him to go faster, I want him to ease off and let me pass. I've got to play catch up now with these two. Oh well. Looks like the car slowed them down in the end. I am hunch right over. Here we go, the drag race, here we go, yeah we took him, <laughs> so it just goes to show, uh, the GS wins, by a mile, I'm on a joker's bike, absolute joker's bike, we're back in Castle, so, we're, uh, well, not almost home, but we're almost home compared to what I was about an hour ago. Yeah, I've had a good day. I'm making, though. I just, ah, oh, tired. I shouldn't be moaning, should I? I'm out on the bike, for goodness sake. If my missus heard me saying this, she'd be like, you could have taken a kid to the party then if you didn't want to do it. Tell you what, there's a lot of those um, Africa twins around at the moment. I've seen a few today. I noticed the other day there's the uh, Transalp 750s coming out in like similar colours, the gold wheels and that retro blue and red, I love that colour. The problem you've got, as you can see with this, is, and you can see Sam behind, there's just no windshield on this. And when you're doing riding like this and it's a bit colder and a bit more windy, it does become less enjoyable. Like for blasting around the streets, I love it. But today, I, I've got to be fair, I felt it a little bit on the shoulders on the back. But I think that's because I don't feel great anyway, if I'm honest, and it's just colder. I just prefer the, the fair weather. I'm a fair weather rider, officially, and I've got no shame in saying it either. So back in Senny Bridge now, I really fancy a cup of tea. The chips are a bit salty and thirsty. I want something warm and comforting. Right, so we've just arrived in Brecon. Getting here slowly. Got a headache now as well. I've got a bit of back pain I have. I'm not doing well today, am I? I started out so positive up for this ride and now I'm just aching. Like I said, the kids might have been coughing and spluttering like hell. I do wonder if I'm coming down with something a bit worse because, uh, oh, I got cramp again, you. Oh, I got my legs stuck out in front of me on the dual carriageway trying to get rid of it. Oh my god. I have got like some serious, serious crap. Feels like someone giving me a camel bite. Going up into my groin. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this isn't good. It isn't good because it's going to pull my muscle. I know it is. Oh shit. So I think we're losing Ian. He's gone the other way, he's going home. Maybe he needs a pee, does he? You alright? Have you got a cramp? I've got a cramp in my yeah, yeah! Wait, inside there! Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I had. Oh, it went in here, and then I was going down a dual carriage. It's going up into my balls. I'm making like fuck. I've got to be fair. I know. These bikes, I love them, but they're not good for long journeys. Bike is, to be honest. No, I'm. I'm. So I gotta be fair. When we started out, like this morning, I really enjoyed it. Whatever. Since we got to about Landovery, I've been almost willing the ride on because yeah, I, I feel like I need to get home and have a cup of tea. My mouth's dry after those fucking yeah, chips. I got cramp, and I'm aching like a bastard. So I think if we did it again, you are. I'm on reserve. Oh shit. So I'm have to take it easy till we get to. Uh, um, It'd be Crick Howell now. Well, is there a filling station there? In Crick Howell? Yeah. Yeah. The Shell Garage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, by the bridge turning, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, there we go. So, we're back on it. We made it to Crick Howell. Sam is safe now in the garage because he was on his reserve so I thought I'd stay with him and make sure that he got to the garage. So a quick summary of the journey, we went up, Abergavenny met Sam, up to Brecon, we went from Brecon over to Landovery, Lampeter and then over to Newquay, West Wales and then came back, similar route but we went to Aber Iron first and then from there made our way back Lampeter and then from there it was the same really so I'm going to end the video there, if you have enjoyed this video please give it a like. If you're interested in DIY, head over to my other channel, Pouse Around the House. Watch some videos, like, share, subscribe. If you're interested in any of the products I use to film these videos, I'll put links to those in the description section below, along to links of other videos on this channel. And finally, all i got left to say is, I've been Pouse out of the house. Ta-ta, farewell.